Hi, this is Charity, and I wanted to show you today how to make this dog collar. Um, it is made out of nylon cord. This is the cord that I used. The brand is Artiste, number 18, nylon thread comes with 197 yards and it's 100% nylon. The number 18 nylon thread is a uh, U.S. term, U.S. sizing. For those outside of the U.S., it equates to a 1.9 millimeter. And for uh, those of you with larger dogs, I just wanted to let you know it is nylon, so it's very, very, very strong. Um, and one single strand strand of this has a tensile rating of 191 pounds and that means it would take 191 pounds of pressure to break this strand the average human could not uh, break a strand that had a 15 pound um, tensile and the average dog, well, there is no average dog. It completely depends. But most of them are not going to be able to break 191 pounds, which is just this single strand. But by the time you do this to it, um, it is much, much stronger and should hold up to just about anything um, that your dog can dish out. Mine is chewing. Obviously, they can chew right through it. I am making mine for a 20 pound dog so I have a 5 8 inch uh, buckle and I didn't happen to have a 5 8 inch d-ring um, so in this example I used a 3 quarter inch so they're a little off but it'll work so the first thing you're going to need to do is gather your supplies I used um, the sock loom from knittingboard.com however I turned it into a knitting board as opposed to a um, loom with the pegs here on the side for knitting in the round I just happened to have these wooden spacers that came off the all-in-one loom from knitting board so I went ahead and used that and set it to a one quarter inch spacing and that'll make this uh, pretty stitch here. You can go a little bit thinner but not much thinner um, because it will get too tight and also you won't be able to attach your d-ring and your buckle directly on the project you need these to be able to fit through the opening which you'll understand a little more about that later this side is fairly easy to adjust it's standard you just twist the wing knot wing nut off and uh, make your adjustments and you're good to go this side over here they did not make to be adjustable so you'll will need a hex nut um, a hex key I believe in order to be able to unscrew this and then you will be able to go ahead and once you've got that hex key mine is loosened up for this example um, then you can unscrew this and and place your spacer in there if you don't happen to have the the wooden spacers that's fine you could line several washers up in here you could cut a straw two pieces that are a quarter inch um, you can get creative and put anything in there to keep these two apart um, the cor the correct length so once you've got that done you've got your nylon cord because you are working with nylon once you cut the end it will fray so you'll need a lighter or matches or something to burn that end to keep it from unfraying 
you'll need a yarn needle, plastic, metal, doesn't matter. It just needs to be able to fit through the opening of your buckle. Of course, a loom tool. Scissors. And your buckle and D-ring. You can get these at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, just about any place craft supplies are stole, sold. In fact, I've seen them at Walmart now back in the camping supplies. So really, you can, you can find these just about anywhere. Um, or if you happen to have an old dog collar laying around that you're not using anymore, you can cut your pieces off of it. However, before you do that, you might want to stretch it out and take a measurement so that you'll know how long you need to make your dog collar. Um, and if you don't have an old collar laying around, then uh, you'll need to measure your dog's neck and add enough for your two fingers to slip underneath because you, you don't want it to, to choke the dog. So that should be all the supplies that you need. Once you have all that gathered, then go ahead and come back and move on to part two.